Greetings everyone, it's uh, time for one of those uh, fundraiser videos that I do every so often when we have those Twin Sons Foundation fundraisers going and uh, wanted to go ahead and uh, introduce you guys to the Hyper Reads Drive 2017. Uh, this is a fundraiser for really just uh, purchasing books, uh, Legends books, and we're going to be taking those books and donating them to a children's hospital in Southern California. Uh, specifically the Children's Hospital of Orange County. Um, this particular fundraiser is actually a little bit special as we are teaming up with the Southern Californian garrison of the 501st Legion. Um, this is a first collaboration event that we are going to try our hand at here with the greater fandom. And uh, we're hoping that it's extremely successful. I know that our contacts in the Southern California garrison are extremely excited about being able to help us out. So. Uh, how are they going to be helping us out? Well, basically, we're raising the funds, uh, we're purchasing the books, and they're going to help us escort those books straight to those kids in the children's hospital. Uh, it's going to be a great uh, great time for the couple of Twin Sons Foundation representatives who are going to be there and the uh, handful of Southern California uh, garrison uh, representatives that they are able to send as well. Uh, unfortunately, the hospital is limiting uh, how many people we're allowed to send. We're only allowed to send eight total between our two groups. Um, and they are not going to permit uh, pictures inside uh, with the patients, which is understandable. Um, but back to the Hyper Reads Drive. Uh, this is an idea that actually came up, uh, was recommended to us while we were at Celebration Orlando at our fan table. We had a, a member of the 501st come up to our table, um, kind of learned about who we are as Twin Sons Foundation, what we're trying to do, and. Uh, they made the recommendation of uh, trying to team up sometime, and you know we thought that was a great idea, so we wanted to try our hand at that as soon as we were possibly able to do so, and uh, hence the Hyper Reads drive was uh, formulated. So, what we're doing is we're going to be collecting funds donated through our website uh, using the PayPal uh, interface there, um, and our goal is three thousand uh, dollars. Currently, we're sitting at about one thousand twenty-five dollars, and we have about thirty days left on our fundraiser, which ends on October first. So now that you guys kind of understand what this fundraiser is, you might be asking yourselves how this advances the goals of the expanding universe movement, because clearly it doesn't do that on the surface. But that's not actually the case, because it does. Uh, advance the goals of the Expanding Universe movement while at the same time um, just being the right thing to do as we are in a position to do something right for uh, the greater community out there. But um, primarily there are a few ways to look at this. Um, this particular project is the first collaboration we've had with a uh, larger portion of the f uh, fan base out there for Star Wars, in particular the 501st Garrison. There are very few fan groups out there that are larger uh, than the 501st Garrison, and they are worldwide, so this is a great first step to see uh, how a collaboration project would work with them and uh, hopefully set the stage for future projects uh, that are similar to this one. Uh, this also helps us get our name out there with uh, maybe some of the people in those fan groups. Um, I'm sure some of them are hearing about us for the first time. Uh, we actually just had a little bit of um, sharing from their Facebook pages, and I believe the Flagship Eclipse, which is kind of their uh, Legends-focused group portion, uh, just uh, also shared uh, some of our information on Twitter, I believe. So, uh, good news there. We're already seeing results, uh, and this fundraiser isn't even over yet, which is great. Uh, but most importantly, this is going to be benefiting kids uh, who really don't have a lot to look forward to. I mean, most of these kids are stuck in that hospital, have been stuck in that hospital with various ailments of who knows what sort. I mean, it could be just about anything. And really, it is depressing when you think that they're, these kids really have nothing to look forward to most of the time. So, uh, you know, having a book to read might just be that something, you know, like, keeps them, you know, heads up in the air, looking forward to something, and, you know, maybe on the gets them on the path to a quicker recovery. So needless to say, there are plenty of benefits to this fundraiser, benefits that, um, you know, advantage the Twin Sons Foundation, that advantage the Expanding Universe movement overall. But this one is clearly focused on the kids. This one is clearly focused on providing them with a little bit of um, light in their lives, uh, a little bit of fun, in other words, uh, probably not so great time that they're having right now, um, which is why we look forward to donating a ton of books, as many books as we possibly can in October, uh, with whatever funds we're able to raise out of this fundraiser. 
Um, so I guess the next uh, thing you all might be wondering is something I've already kind of hinted at, is the uh, best way to help us out with this particular fundraiser. And uh, there are really two ways to do that. We kind of emphasize that in just about every fundraiser we do. Obviously the first is just donating uh, whatever you're capable of donating at the time. Uh, these fundraisers are going, and the best way to do that would be via our website, uh, which does have that PayPal ability. Uh, the website address www.twin-sons.net. Again, www.twin-sons.net. Uh, you're, you're going to want to go to the donation page and just follow the instructions from there. Uh, whatever active fundraiser we have up at the time, which is the Hyper Reads Drive uh, 2017 right now uh, through October 1st, and that is the a way to get us uh, the funds so that we can put it towards this goal um, and get those books for those kids. Um, but the other way to help, which is, in my opinion, just as important to sharing this uh, fundraiser around as many places as you can with getting it, um, you know, getting it in front of as many fans as you can, as many people as you can, because you don't even have to be just a Star Wars fan to be able to help on this. Uh, obviously, reading is great for anybody, but um, in particular, these kids who can't really go anywhere. Um, yeah, this is definitely something they could use. Um, so yeah, definitely share this around social media, um, maybe talk about it with some friends uh, or any other Star Wars, uh, you know, geeks and nerds out there just like the rest of us uh, who might be uh, interested in or capable of helping us out either by donating themselves or by sharing it themselves. The more people we get this in front of, the more likely we are to make our goal, uh, and I do think it's entirely possible to do so. Um, but in order to make that happen, we did go ahead and put a little more effort into our um, perks this time around, and I kind of want to go over those next. So this time around with our perks, we're doing something a little bit more different than what we had done in the past, and that we're actually able to provide you with a few physical uh, items instead of just uh, being able to you know, show up on our website or have your name on our banner for the donating certain amounts. But uh, let's go over those perks real fast. The first perk is actually at the $10 level. We have uh, Twin Suns Foundation bookmarks that are featuring our uh, Planet Arc logo. It's the same logo that we used for the um, background at the Twin Suns Foundation Celebration Orlando booth. Um, it had, you know, features the uh, Twin Suns uh, logo on top of a planet um, with some suns rising in the background. It's really neat. We do thank Paul for creating that for us, and we've certainly had a lot of people inquiring about it. Um, but these bookmarks, they're pretty nice too. I have a couple uh, myself that I've been using since Celebration Orlando. Um, always good to have more than one, as we all know how easy it is to lose those bookmarks. Um, but the next, e, uh, yeah, the next perk is going to be at the twenty-dollar level. Um, we're going to go ahead and give you five bookmarks. Like I said, easy to lose. We want to make sure you've got as many as we can get you. Um, but we're also going to let anybody who donates twenty dollars or more participate in our uh, second Ask Me Anything. Uh, we haven't set a date for that yet, but uh, we are looking forward to it uh, sometime later this fall, possibly early winter, depending on how our schedules line up for that. Um, but yeah, these are going to be the people who are able to ask us questions and you know participate in any live feeds that we might be doing and whatnot, just kind of similar to what our last one was. And hopefully you'll get some good laughs out of that, as I know a few of you did for our first one. Um, so yeah, that was at the $20 level. At the $50 level is our first um, poster that we're going to be able to give away. Um, we are limiting this one to 25 as, you know, the more posters uh, that we have to order up, the more money we have to collect in order to cover the cost for that. So we did want to kind of keep that down in order to make our goal realistic. But at $50, we are going to give you a uh, poster featuring that Twin Suns Foundation logo on top of the planet, uh, you know, the planet art logo. Uh, this poster is going to be uh, 16 inches by 20 inches. So it's a decent size poster that you can put up on the wall or whatever. Um, debating buying one on the side on my own <laughs> once this fundraiser is over just because I think it looks pretty awesome so wouldn't mind having that one up uh, perhaps in my office that'd be good um, at the $75 level we're actually going to be giving away a shirt uh, this shirt's going to be similar to what our Twin Suns Foundation um, volunteers uh, wore at the Celebration Orlando um, fan table they um, are basically plain white t-shirts that feature the Twin Suns Foundation logo on, on the left side of it. Um, we're debating what else we can do with these shirts um, to keep costs down, but we are limiting this one to only 15 shirts, and I do believe we currently have two claimed. 
Uh, so there are only 13 remaining at the time of this recording. Uh, so definitely first come, first serve. If you're interested in getting a Twin Suns Foundation shirt, definitely make sure you donate that $75 uh, or more um, as soon as possible. And for our last perk, we actually do have some autographed uh, Shannon McRandall prints uh, remaining from uh, Shannon McRandall giving those to us earlier this year. Um, as awesome as she was to do that. And uh, we only have 10 of them left, but we are giving those away um, as part of our $100 perk. Um, again, limited to 10, first come, first serve on what we have left. There is a picture up. I'll probably put it in this video as well, but there is a picture up on the donation page of some of those photos and what they look like and uh, the autographs on them and whatnot. Um, definitely make sure you um, donate soon if you want one of those. As I believe we only have a couple of uh, uh, we have eight of those left as well. So there's still a few of those left, but you never know. By the time you donate, who knows? Um, the other part of this perk is actually going to be for a guest spot on the Princes of the Universe podcast with Matt Wilkins. Matt's always been a great friend for Twin Suns Foundation and, and all of us that are volunteers for the Foundation individually. We all consider Matt friends as well. Great guy to play uh, board games with, by the way. Um, isn't a sore loser when you kick his butt. You know, only threaten to steal a few games every now and then. No big deal. But, uh, yeah, no, you get to uh, guest host on the Princes of the Universe podcast. It's something Matt looks forward to every time we do one of these fundraisers. Uh, he has a lot of fun with that, and so far I think everybody who's um, guest host um, taken advantage of this perk in the past fundraisers has enjoyed it quite a bit, too. So We uh, hope you guys take advantage of that one, and I'm sure Matt's looking forward to anybody who does. So that's kind of all the perks that we're offering for this particular fundraiser. Of course, there is one additional benefit for those of you in the United States. Um, we are a tax-exempt uh, nonprofit. We are able to give you guys tax benefit uh, for any donations you make to the foundation. You will get uh, a receipt for that, and you'll be able to claim that on your taxes as a donation. So definitely helpful for in that regard. We did take the extra steps to make this uh, um, nonprofit through the... Uh, IRS to make sure that that was a tax exempt thing and to enable that benefit for any of you in the US who can certainly take advantage of that. Um, we hope that those of you who have been donating to us in the past have taken advantage of that as it is quite the benefits to have and be able to offer and we're quite happy that we're able to do that. So, um, Moving on, um, there's only one other thing I wanted to mention and of course if those of you who have been following my videos in the past to, uh, on these fundraisers know what I like to do about midway through the fundraiser um, or you know once the fundraisers progress to a certain point uh, is to offer a match and of course I am certainly going to match um, during this fundraiser um, as I do feel personally that this is probably one of our most important fundraiser efforts that we are ever going to have so we definitely want to see it successful and I am more than happy to throw more of my funds at this to make that happen um, therefore, I'm going to match up to the next $500 donated after the $1,025 we've already collected. So, um, again, $500. Uh, next $500 that are donated, I will certainly be happy to throw $500 of my own dollars at this uh, to make this uh, a successful fundraiser and uh, to get more books into the uh, hands of those kids over there in California who uh, certainly need a little bit of a pick-me-up and uh, something to look forward to. So. Um, be happy to see all you guys meet me on that challenge of mine, and uh, I know you guys have done so in the past, and, and I fully anticipate you doing so this time around, so looking forward to it, guys, and I think that's all I had for you. Uh, yeah, the Hyper Reads Drive 2017, this is something we might be doing more frequently going forward, um, at least once a year, I would anticipate. Um, we definitely are looking forward to working with the 501st in October, I believe it's October 26th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, when we're actually going to be delivering these books. And uh, I'm hoping we can get a few photos outside with the team members and the 501st uh, as the book's going in. But we'll definitely take pictures of all the books before they go in so that everybody can see what they've got uh, donating to these kids. And uh, hopefully we get some good stories out of it from the Twin Sons reps and the, uh, twin and the uh, 501st reps who are going to be going there from the Southern California Garrison. So thank you for listening, guys. And of course, thank you to everybody who has already donated and shared. We do hope that more join you soon on that, um, as I greatly anticipate donating the next $500 myself to this project um, and helping out however I can. Uh, again, thank you for listening, and we hope you have a great rest of your weekend.